Prime, you guys, what's up? It's Shardmas Prime here doing another P.O. Box pickups video. And I also wanted to talk about an ACBA contest that is about to begin, and I wanted to let you guys know about this. Uh, by the way, I hope you guys are enjoying the New York Toy Fair footage. A lot of New York Toy Fair stuff to come. I have, uh, well, uh, today I posted a video of uh, the Cotabakia booth. Tomorrow, um, I'll have a video on uh, with Todd McFarlane, and then after that, uh, the video with NECA Toy Randy Falk from NECA Toys. So I have two more walkthrough videos, and then, um, and then I think I may have some other stuff that I want to post from New York Toy Fair, but for the most part, you know, uh, kind of wrapping up with all the Toy Fair videos, but there's still some cool stuff to come. Um, and then I want to talk about this ACBA photo contest, and I'm going to also help explain a little bit of what ACBA is, because I'm going to talk about the rules a little bit, but the ACBA photo combat... Um, in order in order to participate, you need to receive an invite. And the way you uh, receive the invite is you invite yourself by sending an email to articulatedcomicbookart at gmail.com. So you want to send an email over there for a request, and I think they'll look over your Facebook page or your Instagram or whatever. I, I don't know all the details on that end of it, but that's the first step is... Um, to participate in the contest, uh, you got you got an email book over at articulatedcomicbookart.com. So first off, I want to play a little trailer for it because I think this is going to be cool. I'm going to be a judge, so I'm really excited about this. So here, check out the trailer. So I just wanted to read some of these rules. Now this is something that would be part of the invite kit that you would receive in an email. Um, and I just want to read this out because not only is it you know directly you know involved with this particular contest, but it also kind of explains what ACBA is. Because uh, you guys see the ACBA ad you know at the end of my videos all the time, and some people don't know what it's about. You know, so so here are the rules. I'm going to read through them very quickly, and then I'm going to get to opening these packages over here. It just says uh, number one, participants must like the ACBA fan page on Facebook uh, or on Inst and or on the ACBA Instagram page. And all tournament instructions and voting will come from these venues. Uh, you must use action figures and they must be articulated. Characters from any toy line and any scale are acceptable as long as they are articulated. Uh, three, you can use filters and or camera settings. However, no Photoshop and no phone app edits. Uh, four, uh, the photo must be your own. Uh, five, one entry per person per round. There's, there's going to be multiple rounds with different themes going on. Like there's like a face-off round where you have, you know, just two characters fighting each other. Uh, and then that leads to, um, oh, you have, you have to submit a B-side and a C-side. So you have to, you know, show that, you know, the different, a couple of different angles to kind of help prove that it's your photo. And for other reasons too, you know, to make sure that everything's tangible and, and stuff. Uh, all entries must for each round must be submitted on the same date. Uh, there must be at least two characters in each display. There must be at least one comic book cutout in each display. A comic book cutout being like a word bubble or something like that, or an effect, uh, you know, an effect boom or some something like that. Uh, there must be at least one prop in each display. There must be at least one effect in each display. There must be a clearly visible backdrop. And then lastly, your entry fee for the competition must be paid in full in order to compete. It's only six bucks to enter the contest. There's going to be about 100 people uh, involved in the contest and stuff. So I'm really excited about this, and I'm, and I'm really curious to see how it turns out. There's also going to be fan voting and everything, too. That's going to, uh, you know, there's going to be two judges, uh, I think, per... Um, you know, like per bracket, and then you're gonna add on an extra two points if you win the fan vote from there. So there's, you know, it's it's, it's just really, uh, you know, uh, it's, it sounds like it's gonna be a really fun contest. So I'm excited about it. Okay, on to the PO box pickups. Uh, this is um, this is from France, I think. Uh, by Air, yeah, yeah, I think this is from France. So I want to give this a read. And I forgot my damn box cutter because I have some packages here. 
And let's see, open this up. And it says, Hi, Shardimus. I am 13 years old. I live in England. Oh, sorry. Uh, I said France. Uh, I, I live in England. Uh, it's really hard to find Marvel Legends over here. I watch all of your videos. I am a big fan. I was wondering when will you start the new Spider-Man Hobgoblin Wave, if it's out yet. And my second question is, are you looking forward to the Thanos Wave? I'm very much looking forward to the Thanos Wave. Um, my final question in the answer about the Spider-Man Wave, I just, uh, I just sent Alex, uh, I forgot his last name, but, um, a few people referred me to Alex to, to buy my, uh, Spider-Man wave, uh, my Spider-Man wave over through him, so, uh, that has already shipped out, so I'm just gotta wait, like, a few days, and then I should get them, but I have a lot of other work to do, too, so I'll try to get those reviews up as soon as possible. Um, uh, it says my final question is, are you excited for Spider-Man joining the MCU? Hell yes, I did a whole video talking about that, and I'm very stoked for that. And then lastly, it says, thank you for reading my letter. You inspire me to collect Marvel Legends and figures in general from Oliver. My YouTube username is Cop Captain Boo Boo. Right on. And then it looks like we've got a piece of art right here. Oh, we, and we get Ca Baby Captain America looking very heroic. Yeah. Baby Captain America with this little baby shield right there. Very, very nice, man. I dig that. And then we get some packages over here. Um, let's see. This one's uh, from Matthew from San Antonio, Texas. I played San Antonio. Te I played a Warp Tour in San Antonio, Texas like 10 years ago. Damn, that's how long ago my Dexter Danger days were. 10 years ago, man. But, you know, I, I like doing traveling things. I like to travel. Is that, what is is that how you you know, would, would describe that. So, yeah, that's another thing about going to New York Toy Fair and stuff is pretty awesome. All right, let's see what's in the box. All right, we've got a, a typed letter. And let's see what it says here. It says, hey, Shardimus Prime. Thought I'd never be able to send a letter. Always felt nervous on what to say. Well, first things first, congratulations on the 100,000 subscribers. I've been a subscriber for over two years, and all I have to say is thank you. Uh, you are the one who got me back into collecting. I really appreciate that. Uh, you're welcome, man. That's cool. Um, I had to stop for a long time because people always told me toys are for little kids. And, well, I let them convince me. But thanks to your channel and your awesome enthusiasm, enthusiasm you got me back to collecting and although it costs money I'm really happy and I don't know what I'd be doing if I hadn't found this amazing hobby um dude uh, hold on I'm gonna I want to elaborate on uh, anyway and to show my appreciation I had made this cool looking Deadpool for a second try at full customizing I know it's not the best and also I know it doesn't do Deadpool justice with the hands but it's cool for display. Thank you for taking the time to read my letter, and I hope you take some liking in the figure. Cool, man. I I'm excited to see this. Um, yeah, dude. It gets, dude. I'm not gonna lie, man. There's, there's times where, like, I've had, I've had my cousins say stuff to me that just like, it's like, ouch, man. Like, damn, or, or you know, people or just. But you know, you gotta. You, you gotta be confident what you're doing. You gotta realize that, dude. It's a hobby, man. You know what? And, and and you gotta you gotta think about this. Look, you wanna make fun of me for knowing like you know these superheroes' names and their aliases and memorizing this and that and their power sets and what teams they're on and and what that. What about sports, man? You wanna talk about nerdy, dude? What about baseball, dude? Those guys memorize hella numbers. That's like hella nerdy. Like, oh yeah, he batted .385 or whatever this year or whatever, and, you know, and then now he's down to this, he's like the least valuable player now, and like, they memorize all this stuff like they're superhero facts, you know what I mean? Now, I'm not saying people that should be fan, people that are fans of baseball shouldn't be fans of baseball, just like how I don't think people that are fans of comics and stuff shouldn't be fans of comics. Enjoy your baseball, man, I don't get it, you know what I mean? I like going to games every now and then. Actually, I haven't been to a game in a long time. I'll watch a game. I'll watch when the when the Giants are in the World Series. That's basically what happens. Okay, yeah, yeah. When the Giants are in the World Series, or if there's a family event, you know, I watch. Because I have fun watching it with family and stuff, you know what I mean? I can't say that. That's bad. But the thing is, is that with a lot... And then people make the argument, oh, well, you know, comics isn't so social. Ooh. And, um... But, dude, with all these conventions and stuff that are going on more and more, it's becoming, you know, a lot more of a social thing. And, dude, the hot chicks are all over the place, man. Or it could just be me looking at Charlita one the whole time. Did I get myself out of that one? I don't know. This Deadpool looks sick, bro. Oh, wow. Dude. Oh, wow. Dude, this Deadpool doesn't look bad, man. Would say the head looks a little on the small side. 
But this is, dude, uh, you made it sound like you, you sent me a piece of garbage or something. I think this is great, dude. Damn. Wow. Oh, man, I'm digging this. This is a pretty cool looking Deadpool. This is, I think he used the Bucky Cat mold, which, yeah, 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 he had to have used the Bucky Cat mold. That is a good looking Deadpool, though. And he comes with a bunch of weapons and stuff. Damn, dude, I feel so bad because there's some customs in here. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, I'm going to get this all. Uh, now I want to get this all set up and everything. just want to make sure. Uh, it, oh, okay. Oh, you used Leonardo Katanas for the back. I think that's sick. Doesn't look too shabby. Oh, okay. And he has this pistol that you, you can attach to the side, I think. It's got a holster for it. I'm going to mess with this more later on, bro, but this does not look too bad at all. I think this is cool. Right on. A little a little chippy with the paint, yeah. But as far as display purposes, like you said, this is cool, man. I will add it to my display. Thank you very much. Let's get a closer look at the Deadpool. Yeah. That is not too bad, man. Thank you. Wow, that is awesome. Dude, sending customs over my way, dude, is, is a huge compliment, man, because I know customs aren't easy to make. Okay, I'm going to open this one right here. I like this because it has my face on it. Isn't that cool? Huh? <laughs> No, that's, it looks exactly like me. Just needs a bigger nose, that's all. Uh, this one's from Carlo, and he's from another uh, uh, from Irving, Texas. Another package from Texas. Awesome. This is a uh, macaroni, or no, popcorn box. Let's see, I'm kind of just not even using a knife right now because... Uh, okay, is there... A, oh, here we go. I'm being careful at the same time. And, alright... And it says, says dear Shortimus, uh, says dear Shortimus Prime. Hello, Mr. Prime. I am a fan, and I have sent you these two toy action figures. P.S. Enjoy, and can you please uh, review them? Uh, sincerely, Carlo Reyes. Toys are hella sick. And it says rough bark. <laughs> that is cool. And I got a Deadpool shirt on that right on. Uh, yeah, you can see it a little bit better right there. That is cool, man. Right on. Alright, what figures do we have? Oh, wait, nope, this is part of the, uh, nope, that's part of the packaging. Let's see what figures we have right here. And, oh, I have, I have, um, oh, right on, man. I have, I have this one before, did you, is this, um, somebody made, I think this is a Titanium Man, no? I think, I think I already have this one. This is a Titanium Man figure right here, and then this is a, what, is this a Captain America, uh, not Captain America, Chris Evans Human Torch. It looks like. Wow, I don't, I'm not familiar with this figure. That is cool, man. That is cool. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I think I have this one already. Uh, I gotta double check. Yeah, I, I might be reviewing this guy. I, I don't know about this this Human Torch, though. This is actually not even 6-inch scale, I think. I don't know what this is from, but thank you very much, man. Thank you. I, I gotta double check to see if I have this one already. Okay, and then last package. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, uh, this is from, this one's from China, um, Zheng Zhao Shi, alright, I'm going to go ahead and, um, let's see if I can open this up correctly, it's getting, you know, I actually had more stuff in the P.O. Box coming home from New York, I found a lot of stuff in the P.O. Box, and I split it up 50-50, and this is still kind of a long video, oh, I didn't expect this, oh, wow, oh, okay, this is from a company, oh, alright, I didn't even get notified about this. This is another Rebor uh, dinosaur. That's cool because I really. Oh, wow. The Utah Raptor Ostromayasaurum Wind Hunter. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that is cool. And then there's the T. Yeah, this is the same company that made the T Rex. Wow. Uh, I almost want to open this up right now to see how it looks. Okay, I, I had a feeling this was from. Uh, from a company, but I wasn't really sure about that. I'm gonna toss that right there. Let's take a quick look at this dinosaur. I'm gonna do a video talking about this, though. I'm definitely gonna do a review. Um, yeah, I've had people speaking of. Oh, jeez, these things are packaged so well. Oh wow! Oh, that is sick. Okay, I just had to take a quick look, and then here it goes, showing it off to you guys, so you can barely see anything in there. Yeah. Anyway, that's it, you guys. I will do a review on this later on. Uh, I'm going to try to do a review on the Deadpool. That would be really cool to do a review on that custom Deadpool. It looks like he really put a lot of work into it. Um, but he is a novice uh, customizer, as he had mentioned in his letter. So I 
I would be kind and everything. But uh, I do have other customs that have come my way that I would need to review first. So uh, the Cyborg Spider-Man for sure. All right, that's my PO Box pickup videos, uh, pickup video, and I'll have more coming. Uh, thanks again, you guys. Thanks so much. Please send your letters and artwork over to Shortness Prime, PO Box. 384 Pacifica, California, 94044. Make sure you check out the Photo Combat ACBA contest. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.